On Thursday, Elon Musk's pay package was approved by Tesla shareholders. And as you can expect, Musk was, he was pretty excited. He was pretty happy. I think he was more emotionally happy because it makes him feel like, um, you know, investors do value him as the head of Tesla. However, Musk promised some mind-blowing technology breakthroughs for the energy industry, and he may be onto something. Now, considering Tesla was really the first company in the world to begin building massive batteries that actually ended up becoming incredibly financially successful and displacing, as in bankrupting, fossil fuel peaker plants, then even though it sounds hyperbolic coming from Musk, I think we should actually pay attention to what he's saying and you know, work out what is he referring to? What difference would this actually make? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. As I've just got my boys to bed, they're seven and 10. Jack's 10, Cal seven, and Jack has a rugby game in the morning. <clears throat> it's been pouring rain. It's gonna be pouring rain tomorrow in the, in the morning, but he's really hoping that his game doesn't get canceled because the last game was canceled because of the rain. Anyhow, it's gonna be an interesting morning, gonna freeze. Musk, what's he saying? Well, in a presentation that Musk made big predictions about the development of artificial intelligence, Basically, he said he's betting the company, betting Tesla on artificial intelligence and on robotics, particularly Tesla's bot. He mentioned billions of humanoid robots, robotic taxis, and trillions of dollars in profits for Tesla. Is that possible? Well, I made a video about that with what I think. I'll put a link in the description. However, here's the thing. Musk is really now talking about his more well, Tesla's mega pack batteries. Tesla's energy division has not shrunk. Like its car sales, um, it's done the opposite. Megapacks, its energy division, its its sales are growing so much that Tesla is now building a new mega factory in China in order to try to um, basically cater to the massive demand. Now, there is a new Megapack battery coming, Elon Musk says. Musk says this will be able to plug in directly to the high voltage network without the need for a substation. He said this, Megapack 3, which is probably a couple of years away, will start actually absorbing more and more of the substation of the power electronics, Musk said during a presentation after the shareholder vote at the company's annual general meeting. This is the real big holdup with getting these huge batteries connected to the grid, having to actually, you know, create a substation. That's, you know, this sort of technical stuff that I think us mere mortals don't really understand. But Musk is basically saying he's got to remove 50% of the work towards getting these batteries up and running as fast as possible. Now, Tesla are known for being very fast at deploying their battery packs. That's one of the key reasons why Tesla gets so many contracts. Musk went on. Megapack 3, which is probably a couple of years away, will start actually absorbing more and more of the substation of the power electronics. I sort of think you want to get to the point with the Megapack where you can literally just take the high voltage power lines and plug them in. There's no substation. We just plug them in, just drop them down and plug it in. This is mind blowing, he said, for the utility industry, by the way, like they're like, what? Yeah, you just plug the wires in and it'll work for very high voltage. So that I think is going to be major. I don't even know to be honest if Tesla are even working on this product, but clearly Musk has plans for it. The Renew Economy said this in response to what Musk said, and these guys, probably the best energy website in the world. When you're talking about solar, wind, and battery technology, these guys report on a lot of that stuff. So guys, if you don't basically view this site, you should be. To be fair, they said, Musk has blown the minds of many in the utility industry simply by building the world's first Tesla big battery, and then following that up with even bigger batteries and sophisticated inverter technologies that can provide key grid services such as inertia and system strength. Now, this is actually true, what they're saying. Here in Australia, uh, there was a, a big city called Adelaide and they had huge blackout problems. Musk said, we can solve those quickly, very quickly. He said, within 100 days, we can build a battery, a big battery, it will solve your problems. You won't have any more blackouts. It will displace some of these peaker plants, which are costing you so much money in terms of electricity, just ridiculous electricity prices. So anyway, our prime minister said it was a joke. He said it was a big banana. Uh, he mocked it and Musk said the battery would be free if it wasn't done within 100 days. It was done within 100 days. And then the battery is so successful, the company that paid for it, they doubled the size. So Tesla built another battery next to it that was double, that doubled the size of the project. And now uh, Adelaide is the only city in the world that runs basically only on renewable energy, wind, solar, and batteries. It's proven that that was possible. Many experts said that would, that could never happen, couldn't work. Well, they 
were wrong. And Adelaide, along with Tesla and Elon Musk, were able to prove that. That's a pretty big achievement. Now, Renew Economy goes on to say that all these are things that in the energy industry would have thought as unlikely or even impossible less than a decade ago. But the same people were probably also arguing that having a share of wind and solar of more than 10% in a grid was also not possible. Some people in the industry even still believe in the primacy of baseload, though in reality, not that many. So Renew Economy says that the technology that Musk is talking about revolves around in-house developments in power electronics and inverter technology that allows Tesla's mega batteries to operate at super high voltages. I mean, at the moment, that doesn't exist in the industry. Musk is saying this would be a world first, and while well, he's right about that. It is seen as a stretch goal, and as Musk suggested, is probably still a few years away. Things are changing rapidly though. Grid engineers are discovering solutions that they never thought possible or never even thought about doing, as they look to integrate variable wind and solar at levels of 80% or more in some grids. And this is changing the way that we look at um, solutions. Europe right now has hit approximately 46% wind and solar. Batteries are the key to that, but integrating them into the grid, that's the challenge. California is doing this, they're making it work. However, gotta keep in mind that in the United States, you guys have many gigawatts of basically solar and wind projects that are just sitting idle, same as Australia, because they have not yet been integrated into the grid. AI technology is developing rapidly though, and providing increasing insight, says Renew Economy, into the way the grid really works. Many will doubt, must claim, that everyone will want a humanoid robot, let alone three, like the Olympus machines, wandering around Tesla's headquarters and performing tasks on the company's battery production lines. Now, these robots, of course, are called Optimus, and Tesla is investing a huge amount of money and time into their Optimus bot, not Olympus, sorry, I meant to say Optimus. The humanoids though might come in handy, even to hold the cable to test Tesla's theory that its batteries can plug into the high voltage power lines. I mean, yeah, if anyone's gonna get fried, it would be the robot, right? You might even send them to Mars or to the market operator for an explanation. Now, Giles Parkinson um, was the author of much of that article and I've met Giles, he's incredibly intelligent and his work in renewable energy is something we need to recognize in the similar vein to Tony Sieber. So guys, I'll put a link in the description below to renewaconomy.com.au. Musk projects, they're ambitious. Uh, many believe that Tesla's mega packs were, wouldn't really do what he said they would, and they did. So maybe we should be taking this seriously because it could disrupt the industry in ways that what we're just seeing happen right now in California. Thanks for watching.